Many free restrooms at local picnic areas are in danger of getting shot by a main battle tank. You are on an off day and just want to enjoy in a picnic area. You just wanted to meet a basic need and went to a restroom. Everything seems okay in a regular circumstance. Innocent people trying to enjoy and they are unaware of the incoming danger. Something evokes a feeling of pure dread. Your fear is not unfounded and the reason is clear. People generally worry about exponentially rising water and running out of toilet paper but they unfortunately ignore the most dangerous problem. Of course the problem is getting shot by a main battle tank which is a problem encountered in the picnic routine and cannot be solved so far. The reason is clear. People are unprepared and they think that the precautions taken by the government are enough. However that is not true. Free restrooms are significant for picnic areas because they are free. In fact, development level of a country is directly depends on the frequency of free restrooms. If free restrooms are destroyed, your picnic will be an absolute disaster, humanity will never be prosperous anymore. Most boys' toilets are not recognized as a valuable target due to perfectly applied scorched earth strategies but you cannot be sure that you are safe. In this video, the enemy tank is a cheap copy of Leopard 2 Revolution equipped with reactive armor, stealth components, melee combat equipments and etc. A modern main battle tank can fire up to 9 rounds per minute with a 120mm smoothbore gun can easily destroy your restroom at long range. And everyday regular buildings have no way of defending against main battle tanks. Especially modern restrooms and ancient restrooms are almost the same. Same design, same structure and process. Likewise they have no method of defense against modern weapons. By the way, picnic areas are perfect places for main battle tanks to cruise, hide, hit and run, and you can't use air support there since they are civilian recreation areas. People attempt rushing directly to solve this problem then they fail. We will solve this problem with science. Let's begin with protection. There is no effective armor lying around in a picnic area so that we need to prepare our composite armor. We will add sheet metals then make a composite sandwich with enveloping split ceramic blocks between metal plates. So ceramic provides high compressive strength and metals provide toughness and prevent ceramics from scattering. We can add some carbon fibers to increase tensile strength. And by giving an angle, we will increase effective thickness and the chance of the projectile ricochet. However, that is not enough. Did you see that? WC, which means restroom, is also the chemical formula of tungsten carbide that is a hard material used in armor-piercing projectiles. Is it a coincidence? Of course not. The enemy tank never hesitates to use armor-piercing projectiles. To solve this problem, we will add explosive reactive armor to reduce penetration by dispersing the impact over a large area. By the way, Restrooms rarely move so we can prioritize protection over mobility so that thick ribbed metal block can be used as cheap and effective armor. Install a few anti-tank guided missile launchers as an offensive measure against possible incoming armored threats. We can install a few ditches in case it decides to ram. Let's see that how effective our applications are on the field and see the enemy tank try to ruin our picnic and fail.